I actually did not think it was going to be this cold in Denver, but it is. It's a little chilly right now. I'm here at Earthship Vans. I'm touring two of their vans while I'm here. This is one of them, and this is probably the... I think this one's the nicer of the two, but I think they're both really well done. What's up, everybody? Another vlog, another day. You can probably tell by my tone, I'm not the happiest camper in the world, but I got a full video coming out about this situation, but this video, I'm gonna be packing everything up here in the tiny house, and I'm gonna be actually heading out to Denver where I am going to be meeting up with a really cool van company that does really awesome builds, like the, some of the best and nicest products used in a van are used with this company. I'm not actually going to Denver for the next few days and I'm flying out of Boston because that's uh, the closest largest airport, but that's also where my dad lives, my mom lives, my family lives, my friends live. Packing everything up, let's see if I can I can show you my truck right outside there. I got all the doors open. I got the back gate open. You might have even seen for a second that in the back of the, uh, I can actually show you from this window. Right there, I've got a bunch of my power stations and I got two more right here. And thank goodness I held on to all of those because I'm about to open up here this cabinet right here. I'm not gonna be able to see anything, but my inverter um, has bit the dust no longer working now the crappy thing about all of this is that is not just an inverter charger now an inverter charger means that uh the inverter does the inverter part of it which converts the dc power to ac power or 12 volt to 110 or 120 volt right this actually has the capability of putting out 240 volt or 220 volt however this is also an all-in-one unit that is a solar charge controller when I fried the motherboard on that, which I'm talking to experts, I don't know how exactly we did it, or I did it, but it has something to do with me charging from my generator and running appliances because I think this got confused. Either way, I'm replacing this Mamma Jamma, this, this uh, inverter charger and MPPT controller all in one. Now I'm switching out to just an inverter charger. Then I'm having a separate solar charge controller and I'm going big because I got a lot of solar and I want to have enough to even add more solar maybe down the road. So that is going to be in a different video. That's going to be a different day. So the, the crappy thing about all of this is I am not out of power because I have these two massive rely on batteries underneath my bench. They are 48 volt and they're 300 amp hour at 48 volt. So that's 1200 amp hours at 12 volt each. So I've got 2400 amp hours at 12 volt. Everything in my house is practically 12 volt with the exception of cooking apparatuses, uh, Starlink internet, which I'm in, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm close to civilization, but I still don't have internet. And this is my primary source of internet. Need the TV. I don't care about that, but that's 120. Uh, my washing machine. Again, I can probably make do without doing a load of laundry for a little while. I can go to a laundromat if need be. A lot of things that you're going to need things for 120 volt power. The biggest crux to me is not being able to charge my batteries. So having a separate solar charge controller is going to be super beneficial. And I should have done this to begin with, but I got greedy. That unit was given to me um, and I took it and now I am paying the price. I should have went with what I'm going with, which is Victron. And I should have went with Victron in the first place because what was I thinking? I wanted to make sure I could get my batteries up to charge because I'm leaving them for a few days. I actually have to trickle charge them because there's no way, there's no other way for me to charge unless I went out and bought a solar charge controller, which there's nowhere around me that I could go buy one of those. So last night I <laughs> took one of the power stations, actually I needed two of them, and I plugged in my trickle charger, which is right here. This is a 48 volt uh, trickle charger and alligator clips, and I just put them onto the thing. Now, luckily, Jason from Off Grid Solutions wired up my entire system, and I was able to isolate each battery, so I shut off the battery while it was charging and I had the house run off the rest of the other battery. So I have plenty of power. I could last a probably three, four days just running DC power 
but I have no internet. I have no way to get on my computer. I have, those are the things that really kind of really suck. And I like amenities and I like having things. So I decided to go down to my dad's for a couple days. Now I'm flying to Denver, which is working out quite nicely. When I come back, when the product gets here, I will do a completely other video about that. I think Nick from Exploration Vans is gonna come up and give me a hand. I don't necessarily need them, but it's nice to have friends that are only an hour away where I'm like, hey man, come and give me a hand and we're gonna install that. It should be a easy easy enough swap out. Let's go enjoy my trip to Denver and, and, uh, and go see Earthship Vans, which is who I'm gonna be touring. I was gonna say, I got a protest. United Airlines going on behind me. That's always fun. But coming to Denver to do a video for a company, and you know what? You got you got to get picked up in style. You can't do a video for a company if you're not gonna show off the van. So obviously, Airship Vans is gonna pick me up in one of their three hundred thousand dollar rigs. Who's he got with him? Who's he got with him? What's up, buddy? Oh, you got a couple buddies. Hi, guys. I actually did not think it was going to be this cold in Denver but it is it's a little chilly right now anyways i'm here at earth ship vans i'm gonna tour this one this one's gonna be an actual full-on tour so we're not gonna go into detail of everything about this van but this is i'm touring two of their vans while i'm here this is one of them and this is probably the i think this one's the nicer of the two but i think they're both really well done but really nice color palette i love this green I want to ask them about how they did this. Really nice, nice butcher block down here. Big sink. I know that they put a lot of product in here in regards to um, systems. I know the power systems are big, but also they use the Van Life Tech system, which is my favorite heater. Uh, this one actually has a cruise and comfort. They put a lot of time and energy into um, the design and fabrication of every single one. I'll show you the guys this real quick. There's your bathroom shower. They actually have heat running into that shower, which is also really nice. This is their shop. This is all you need as a van builder, guys. 3,000 square feet. Just doing it right. We're about to film this one over there. This is the van that was I got picked up in. It's the owner's van. Do you want to show that upper cabinet on the vlog? Next gen? Yeah. Um, if you you want, don't want to? If we have them in a van, I say. I don't All know. Right, what do you think? They're, All right, I'm just going to say they are schnazzy. So yeah. this is Bob. He works with Earthship, right? Mm -hmm. And and he's been working with an Italian designer. He is a designer fabricator by trade. However, you've been working with an Italian designer, right? Oh, yeah. And he came up with these really cool doors. And I can't. It's not that I can't show. I don't want to show just yet. I don't. Want, I don't want to put them on blast we yet. Can, it's, uh, we could throw. We could no, show. No, no, no. Yeah. When when you put it into a van, yeah. let's we'll yeah. show them that. Yeah, it's 2024's but model. I would say late. How long have you been working on this design with them? About a year. Yeah. yeah. So that's why we don't want to show you guys just yet. It's probably one of the nicest, coolest designs I could say. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like when it comes to functionality yeah. and space in a van and weight. This, yeah, it's next it's just level. Everything, everything about it just screams next gen of van life. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm excited to see it functioning more in the vans. But if you're interested, they can always set up Earthship vans. You guys get your van built by them. Without getting too many details, it's it's definitely what, what turns them head. And I'll I, make it look he, he's not he's not gonna believe me, but I I thought of this design a while ago. It's kind of common, like uh -huh. the the style. Oh of it. But, yeah, it happened in the 70s. Yeah, you'll see it in the 70s and the 80s. But you guys have like retro, like you've made it. We've nice. revamped it. So modern, yeah, modern revamped it. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's like yeah. a modern. It's it's really, it's gorgeous. Hey, I like take it. it. Take yeah. it. Yeah. I actually like. We have two different sizes. You have two a couple different sizes of it. You have mm -hmm. different yeah. applications of it and yeah. stuff like that. So yeah, you can use it throughout the van. Uh, it's modular. 
Goes together quickly. Yeah, yeah. we'll just say that. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get there eventually, guys. I can't. I can't even get in this man because it has it has all the prototypes. Oh, it's fine. I'm not holding it. But they have a. They have a nice. One. Is this 144? Uh huh. I didn't even know you guys did 144s. Yeah. Uh, ESBX is what we call them. But what do you call them? ESBX. 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 Oh, you have two different. You have two different models. ESB1 and ESBX. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever he said. This is the all-wheel drive or 4x4? Oh, it's a 4x4. 4x4. I'm looking for the price on it. 2019. It's 2022. 2022, okay. 67. Uh, they're like 90K, 80K now. All right, guys, we're going to go touring. We're going to show them all off, so make sure you guys check out those tours when they do come out. If they haven't already come out, I can introduce the rest of the team. And these two beautiful angels to pick me up. That's the owner, but you guys are going to see him at a tour. That's Scott, that's and then that. Dustin's in the office, right? Yeah. And then Dustin, that's your that's your team, that's it, right? Oh, we got a couple more guys. Oh, you do have a couple more? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but this is all you guys need for a van shop, by the way. All right, you ready for this tour? Yeah. All right, we're gonna go tour, we'll see you guys later. Uh, I am back in the tiny house, and I just wanted to end the vlog here. Uh, it's kind of an abrupt ending. So I apologize for that. However, there are just some things I'm not going to go into detail for, but I want to just make it known that I am dedicating this video as well as the two tours that I shot with uh, Earthship Vans. We're gonna dedicate those videos to the one and only Chili Dog. Um, unfortunately, uh, Chili Dog passed away as I was there. It was something that obviously I'm not going to record um, and I'm not going to record anything after that, and, you know, and I wanted to spend the time that I had left in, you know, Denver with Earthship, kind of just remembering Chili Dog and, and letting them uh, grieve. And I wasn't about to whip out a camera to do any of that. So I don't need to explain anymore. That's that, that is it. But Chili Dog, the little amount of time that I got to meet him and be around him, he was fantastic, lovely. He was, you know, beautiful, treated me with open arms or paws. Uh, he is, you know, he was an amazing, amazing dog to just be around. He loved everybody around him from what I saw. Uh, and he will be very, very missed. The little amount of time that I got to see you, uh, I will miss you as well. So guys, this will be the end of this vlog. Uh, however, we got some more tours of Earthship Vans coming out. Uh, if you have any pet, I don't care if it's a dog, you know, cat, parrot, lizard, it doesn't matter. Just give your give your pet an extra hug for me today. When I was reunited with Glacier after my trip, I, I cuddled with her all night. So with that guys, uh, we'll see you next vlog. And stay tuned for all the other videos. Um, rest in peace, Chili Dog.